guys, Stitching May here to do an update video. Um, it's been a month since my last video, and all that I can say is life. Um, I have a lot of life update to do. I think, I never know how to do this, because I know some of you are here just for the stitching, but then some of you like both. This is a little more life update than I normally share because it's been a month and it's the reason why that I've not been here. Everybody's healthy and okay, nothing huge. <clears throat> so I think for this video, I'm going to do the life at the end. That way, if you don't enjoy it, you don't have to sit through it. Um, I do have a lot of stitching to show you. Let me start with, if you're a returning viewer, do I, subscriber, thank you and welcome back. If you are new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitch and obviously life. Um, and I hope you enjoy your stay. So I have a lot to share with you cross stitch wise because I've got three new starts, three planned starts, some progress, some haul, and some gifts. So get ready, sit down, get your stitching ready. Hopefully if you're working on any last minute, you know, trying to finish things before the end of the year or trying to start a whole bunch of things before the end of the year, this should be a good video for you because it may be a little longer than my normal videos. Um, <clears throat> plus I'll have the life stuff. So I guess let's just jump in. I have no order. I, most of these are new starts, so I don't have a whole lot of before pictures. Um, in fact, I don't think I have any. Um, I may have them actually. I'll have to look at, I may have one, I think. Anyway, you don't care. You'll, you'll see it if I have it. If I don't have it, you'll know why. Because 2020. Um, so let's start with progress. On the off chance that my husband is watching this with my child, click away. <clears throat> um, the main focus piece that I have been working on is the piece that I'm stitching for my son for Christmas. And that's the Among Us. It's called Looking Kind of Sus. I got it on Etsy. I'll drop a link below to the shop. Um, she's actually got two mock-ups of this. Um, so the characters are in a pyramid and the top two have a space between them in order to make them even. Um, but then it's got more space, dead space between them. Black is what it is. And I had questioned about it. So then she did a mock-up of it without the space. And I'm sure she would give you either one or if you talk to her, whatever. I'm going to end up doing it in the original because it does look more even. I agree with her. It looks a lot more even. Anyway, this is where I currently am. So this is not stitched. This is just the fabric. I have completed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total people. There are a total of 12. Yes. I have to fill this guy in, fill this guy in, do two and one. And enough time to frame it by Christmas. Thank God my husband does the framing. Um, <clears throat> it's going rather quickly. I put 640 stitches in yesterday alone. Um, I'm hoping to sit down today and knock out some more stitching. The good thing is these two guys are only this big. So like I did all this stitching yesterday and last night and this all equals, equals the amount of that pretty much. I'm hoping that I can get this done in time. So this is stitched on 32 count Yule by Picture This Plus in the called for DMC. I thought it was a perfect murdery fabric. And guys, I'm loving this piece. It's got just enough of changes that I don't feel like I'm stitching the same color the entire time, but then it has enough variety, enough blocks that I don't feel like I'm constantly changing. This has been a fun piece to stitch. I, I'm really enjoying this piece. But there, that is. So that's the only thing I think that I worked on as far as progress goes. Everything else is new starts, but I'm telling you, it would not qualify for the no new starts of 2021 stitches, stitch count. Um, because there's like barely any stitches on any of them. Um, in November, we took a very, very short one day trip to Pigeon Forge when my in my in-laws were there longer we stayed one night um and that's when I started these other th other things um one of them is 
And I also stopped by a local needle workshop up there. Guys, most of this video is going to be a haul and gifts. Just not going to lie. And, oh, I did work on Pandemic some, but I didn't get any progress. Because I was off and had to frog. So, the only thing I can show you is negative progress. And that's where I had to um, unstitch, like, m half of what I stitched. So, this is my new starting point now. Because it's all negative progress. No positive progress. 2020. Um... So we had the very short overnight stay and there was a local needle workshop up there. I started a new start while I was up there and I got a little bit of haul, which is with some of the new starts. So anyway, that that's as clear as mud, right? Like, that made sense. Let's just go. So we went up there the Monday before Thanksgiving. And I started on by Little House Needleworks. It's called <clears throat> Singing the Blues by Little House Needleworks. I'll try to insert a picture of what it will look like when it's finished here. I'm stitching this on 20 count vintage country mocha. And guys, I don't know which way is up. I want to say this way it's up. I think this is the wing. But that's how I've stitched on it. See, I told you, like, it's not enough to count at all. Most of my progress was on the Among Us piece, which is a lot of stitching. And then the other new start was one that I started with Emily. Emily C. I have it in one of my mommily bags this was from a book from good good housekeeping and some of you have said that you want me to do a flip through of that and i will um it'll probably be after christmas because i need to buckle down and stitch i i plan to have a video between now and the beginning of the year i will do the flip through of that book and then I plan or want to do a whip parade going into 2021. Guys, I'll have 20, I'll have 60 whips for 2021 and I'm purposely starting some in order to get it to an even round 60. I'll start my <clears throat> 2021 with 60 whips. I'm not doing the official no new starts because I know as soon as I tell myself that it'll ruin it for me but my idea is to kind of keep myself accountable and not do new starts um i found out i had this many whips because i'm doing school of magical stitches next year and i needed a whip album and i realized labeling them out that i had like 57 or whatever many whips 54 i don't remember the magic number but i needed some starts to make it <clears throat> become an even 60. so there we are i had 57 with two new plan starts, and then I threw in three extra or something. I don't remember. Anyway, I wanted to get to an even number. <clears throat> so I do not plan to officially do no new starts, but I, myself, I'm going to try to do no new starts. With, I've got one. I'm going to do the Emily um, C. Birthday Sal, which is another pandemic um, sampler. It, you can find that on Instagram. I'll link to the lady that's doing that below as well and that is and maybe one more for either my birthday which it won't be a sow because it's a big piece and it's a it's a it's a niche piece <clears throat> um so i don't know that anybody else would want to start that i'll share it if you want to start you're welcome to i don't care the more the merrier but i'm not gonna like it's an official sow i am scattered today and please pardon the clearing of my throat it is sinuses Yesterday I was a little worried, thought I also had to go get tested, had a weird headache, but no congestion. Today the sinus gate has opened up and said no, it's just sinuses, which is not good, but it is good that it is just sinuses. Um, anyway, 
So, the next start is Mary Be Thy Christmas Tide. It is by Threadwork Primitives. It came from a good housekeeping book that I will do a, or Better Homes and Gardens, not Good Housekeeping, Better Homes and Gardens book that I'll do a flip through of later this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, this is what it looked like when it's finished. This is where I am. I know that Emily and I started this out. Several people have jumped on board. You are welcome to join, to jump on board. This is where I am. I actually got a pretty good amount of stitching on this one. This one would count because it's more than the, how many of her stitches. Guys, this piece was hard to put down. And the only reason I was able to put it down is because I needed to work on Among Us. Like, I am loving this, this piece already. And I just started it. It's going to be a very fun stitch. If, you're, if you have it or are on the board of getting this, on the, you know, the what if of getting it, I completely recommend it. You can contact Threadwork Primitives on Etsy and she'll even give you a DMC conversion. I stitched it as called for. <clears throat> I make that face because I'm doing thread drops for this piece and I've never done thread drops before. I don't have the pretty little dangly thing like Brenda and them have, but... I'm doing this in the called for colors. Here they are. All these beautiful prim Christmas colors. Except for two. Because when this is what I purchased when I went to the Needlework store. Was fabric. Which is. I want to say it's Vigil because it's stiff. It's a 30. 36, 38, 34. It's a weird count. 34 count. I don't know. <clears throat> but um. I purchased the fabric and the threads. And, oh, I had, did I put that in here? I may not put that in here. Yeah, I did put it in here. Um, but two of the colors they did not have. And I had to add in, which I added in Oscar. And then I added in... I want to say it was this aged pewter. Substituted the aged pewter for two colors. I don't remember where they were. If you're really, really interested, I'll be glad to share it with you and tell you what I, what I changed what out for. It was not a thing of not liking the colors. It was the fact that my little, the shop did not have those two colors. So I decided to um, trade them out. But that is my color white. <clears throat> and it's on this. Fabric. I want to say this is um, antique lamb's wool. So there that one is. Guys, this video is so scattered. I apologize. But hey, I'm here, right? This month has been scattered. Just what you hear stories. I also purchased this um, crimson. Oh, look, it might just my sweater. Um, for the planned one of them I plan starts next year it's one that I've been kidding up for many years and um, I'm glad that I waited now because I would have done it on Ada when I first started in DMC and now I'm doing more doing the linen more and actually using hand dyed colors and I think it, this one is one that it needs to be the hand dyed colors for it to be to be the same Another new start is another sal. This is with um, Angie Hibernation Stitcher and also Stitch and Button. Um, <clears throat> this is in a bag that was a gift to me from Belinda. So, see, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be scattered. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Um, <clears throat> so I got a package in the mail. Right, so we were starting to do our um, Christmas decorating after Thanksgiving, yes, and, um, I got a package in the mail randomly and from Stitch and Button. I was like, I messaged her, I was like, I haven't ordered anything from you, why, why do I have a package? And she's like, just open it. I was like, well, do I need to wait? And she's like, no, just open it. 
So in that was a Christmas present from Belinda, which was this wonderful Jack Skellington bag. Oh, I love Jack. I love Jack. He is a Christmas movie. He is on Netflix. It's a Christmas movie. I'm correct. I think it's both, but. And Sally. <clears throat> and it has this beautiful little zipper pull. Whoa, don't focus on my ugly face. Focus on this. With a R.I.P. Come on, focus. Don't focus on me. R.I.P. Tombstone on it. Isn't that cute? And it also came with this Frogger. And a needle monitor that is in use somewhere. She got me. And a scissor fob that is in use. Uh, this is a bag on a, on a pair of scissors. With a dragonfly on it. And there's my drag skeleton frogger. This was the needle monitor. I had the the, the scissor fob with it. Um... But this piece is being stitched. It also had a gift from. Ooh, put this on my frame. It also had a gift from Vicky in it, which I'll show you now. And that was so she found out that I liked the thread work primitives. It's the Beggars series. There's Beggars Christmas, which is this lovely crow. So he's cute. Beggars Night. Which is Halloween. Beggar's Valentine. And Beggar's Fourth. Guys, I was so excited. So, <clears throat> came in a perfect time. Two packages came in a perfect time. Um, but this is the start that I did. Vic Gable who also gives me those patterns, and Angie Hibernation Stitcher and I are all doing this Star Wars as a Dimensions kit. I got it at Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> I don't know where else it is now, but um, I know it's not at Hobby Lobby anymore, but this is one of my new starts. However, I did not start it on the Stark White Ada. I had this random, no-name, hand-dyed gray fabric. It's a 32 count. So I started on this, guys. Do you see that little bitty amount of progress? This is what I'm stitching on with my son and my husband and I watch The Mandalorian. My son knows about this piece because I figured there was no way to hide that. And I'm using the thread card for this. I just cut off the little dimensions because it came pre-kitted. Come on, focus. I just cut those off and taped them to this threader and there we go. <clears throat> and that is it for progress and starts. See, I told you not a lot, mainly on the mothers. Okay. Gifts and haul. Um, I per I got. <laughs> See, some of my. This is why I do life first normally because. My stitchiness, my head's getting cut off. My stitchy, whatever, usually revolves around my life. So sometimes there's little anecdotes about things that involve life. Um, this is was in a Christmas card from the Southern California Stitchers. Um, <laughs> I went the day that we got home from our day long trip. I got this card in the mail. It was very well timed and so sweet. I'm not gonna read the card to you, but it's on this Christmas thread drop and my very favorite Christmas color to me. It's a very prim 221 DMC. Love it. I love that for a Christmas red, for a prim Christmas red. And then haul. The other haul that I got besides that red was this pattern by the from Razor Roof Designs is called Firens Friends. I say friends, but it's spelled Firens. Firens. I also purchased a copy of this for Emily because I mean, I don't know, that just looks I don't know, I love it. So this is what it looks like. 
What it says is, friends may forsake and riches may fly and life itself may end, but youth improved will well supply through life its closest friend. I don't know. Youth improved will well supply through life its closest friend. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if it says anything about the quote. I don't see anything on this part about the quote. I've not dug into the pattern in red. Let's, let's, let's see if it says anything. Inquiring minds want to know. Can it just open? Try not to show you pattern. I keep cutting my head off. Nope, there's no information about the quote. Stitched on navy bean linen. One skein was used, but it wouldn't hurt to get a second, it says. That kind of stuff. This is on the clearance right, so I got two. Got one for Emily. She's not supposed to know that. <laughs> Emily, you don't know that. Anyway, she doesn't care. I just saw it, thought of her. This one was definitely on the clearance rack for a whole dollar. Couldn't resist a dragonfly for a dollar. I probably won't stitch the wreath, wreath, but I love that dragonfly and I'll eventually stitch that dragonfly. Okay, that's it for haul. I showed part of my gifts. Oh no, it's not it for haul. I also got these two things of yarn. Um, I make, I crochet dishcloths sometimes. Well, I don't feel like stitching, but when I do something, love. Um, this is Premier Home. I think it's Joanne's answer to, like, the sugar and cotton, but they don't make it anymore. Found this on eBay. This huge thing. I love this green. I love the way it stitches up because it's just scattered all around. And then I also got the red, white, and blue. I made my mother-in-law a dishcloth out of this for Christmas. Not, I didn't make it for her for Christmas. I made it for her for Christmas time. And she won't use it. She uses it as a, under her little candle holder, as like a coaster. And so now she only has one. So I've got another one for her now to where she can have two on her, both of her end tables. And then I got the red, white, and blue. Just because I thought it was pretty. <clears throat> That's it. Color and cotton. My color and cotton subscription for... October. I feel like I've already shown you this. Just in case I'm going to show you again. I haven't got November yet. Or did I? I already work, worked it in. I may have already worked it in. So there's... I feel like I've already shown you this. Just in case. There's pine tree. That's picking up the color perfect. Old Santa. Again, that is the perfect Christmas prim red. Tarnished metal. Quail. Look at that color. That's not the perfect prim. And chai. I I really feel like I've shown you that. If I have, I'm sorry. If I haven't, hey, there it is. <laughs> Guys, this video. Oh, it's crazy. And I've got six minutes till this cuts off, so I need to hurry. Um, then the next thing is I got a huge... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop it because I'm not going to be able to finish this in six minutes. So let me stop, and then I'll start back. And I'm back. So, on another day that turned out being not a great day <laughs> in the last month, I received a huge parcel as Belinda calls it. Package is what we say here. Um, in the mail from Belinda. I'll say Stitcher. All the way from Australia. Guys, first of all, there were like seven packs of cookies. All kind of candy. She got my husband and I both a hat. She got us stubby holders. Um, she replaced one. So the story behind that is, is that years ago, she purchased us, we call them koozies, but stubby holders. And my husband loved his so much that he used it until it broke. Sound like a familiar story? She used the cup until it broke. And 
he still used it even when it was messed up. So she was able to find the exact one and replace it. He was so excited. And then she got us an extra one. She got us two hats. She got um, Connor some books that I'll show you. And then a wallet and of course his favorite candy. His favorite candy is the caramel koalas. That can all, of course my kid would like candy that you can only get in Australia. So she sent him plenty of packs of those. And, um, of course, Tim Tams. And one of them was salted caramel. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Those, those are gone. They lasted two days. And we're not a family that goes through cookies that fast normally. Believe it or not. Um, my dog's trying to get in. But, um, so, <laughs> I even sent her a video of Scott eating the cookies because they were so good. Her kids thought his accent they had never heard him speak before and they were like oh he sounds so weird and he's in a video back saying no no you guys are the ones that sound weird i sound normal it was hilarious they had a back and forth about his accent their accents so on top of that it was also chock full of stitchy goodness there was this prairie moon this novala ceremonial rug which is Halloween backwards, I'm realizing it when I look at it. And that is that. I can't wait to start that one. And then she sent me this beautiful, look, it's daisies and dragonflies. You can't get any better than that. And then I have one of these in this series. So now I have the others. And I do eventually want to do them all. It's the Co Cottage Garden Songbirds Garden series. This one is um, Promise of Spring, number four. Look, up. Look at those colors. Love those colors. I have the one with the, I think it's got, got a daisy on it. Summer Bliss. Look at the detail on those flowers. That's going to be so interesting. And then Courage. And she sent me the farms of Hawkrun Hollow with the threads already organized. And also, I'm going to name this correctly. The Joan Elliott, it is No, it's not Dragon Fire. There, what's the name of it? Water Goddess. There we go. She's got reddish colored hair. I'm going to call it red because I'm going to call it red. And dragonflies. And look at the colors on this. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. And this beautiful, beautiful fabric from Seraphim Fabrics. This one is called smudge it is 28 count linen 18 by 27 piece oh my gosh guys this is beautiful like i just want to hang it up on the wall like oh it's got silvers and browns and greens and I have no clue what I'm going to stitch on this. And it's probably going to end up being one of those pieces that I don't stitch on for a while because I'm saving it. <laughs> you know, you get something, you, you, you get a really good snack and you don't eat it because you want to save it. And then she sent me needle binders from Needle Minder Obsession. They are dragonflies. Come on, focus, focus. It's catching the gems. There's this. Beautiful. Stop focusing on my face. Focus on my hand. There we go. And you can tell they're heavy. The good magnets. It's 
feel heavy. They stick to my table even. And then she sent two books for Connor. An emu called Tangles. It's cute. And Tori and Friends at Ninjalo Reef. I'm sure Belinda and her children are laughing at the way I'm saying this. Like, look at this artwork. Like, oh my goodness. The book is just so pretty. And I'm sure at some point Connor's going to want to take these to school and share it with his friends and tell them all that it came from Australia. Because at lunch, when I pack his one koala a day for his lunch, he always tells them, this candy came from Australia. And I look at him like he's crazy because I don't believe him. And that's the bottom of my bucket. Now... On to planned new starts. So I've already got those three starts going. Those, those three. Now I need to start three more before the end of the year. So thanks to Ellen and Emily and Olivia, my sister wives. They helped me pick out them. One is... I don't have the original in here. It's put up. It is the 2007 Special Edition Christmas Kit by Lizzie Kate. I'll insert a picture of that here. It's going to be stitched. It was a kit, so it comes for the called for fabric. And mine even came with the called for floss. And I'm going to put it on another one of these little floss organizers. But I plan to start this Christmas, the morning, the day of Christmas Eve. Because um, my husband works the night before, like the night before Christmas Eve. So that day while he's sleeping, I'll be cooking for my sister and me and him. That's it. I'm cooking a lot of food. We'll have a lot of leftovers. But um, I'll cook. And while that stuff's cooking, I will start that. Because I was I was panicked, and then when I watched Dina Hafschitz cross stitch, she reminded us that there are, there's a group of people that are doing the twelve days of Christmas, but they're starting some on Christmas and then going through. So I can even stitch Christmas on Christmas, and hopefully by then Among Us will be away from us <laughs> um, under the tree. And then I'm going to this is this was from. The design is by Candace Thomas. This was in um, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. I don't know which version. If you really want to know, I can do a lot of digging and figure it out. It's called Time Worn Willow. Again, it's by Candace Thomas. You can probably search that and find it yourself. It is a teeny, teeny, tiny ornament. That's it. I'm stitching this in the called for DMC. I needed some smalls for next year so maybe I can get some finishes because I started a lot of baps this year just on this random piece of 32 or 28 count linen in the called for DMCs. Nothing fancy is what it is. That should be an easy quick stitch but I need some smalls. And then last but not least, the one that I am using as a reward to myself and starting. You guys voted and decided that I should start the Quaker Samplings 2 by with my needle. Sorry, Quaker Samplings 3 by with my needle, not with thy needle. Also known as Ellen Chester. And I'll insert a picture there. It will be with this Threadworks Primitive that, again, almost matches my... See, this color. I don't like bright red, but I like burgundy red. With this Threadworks Primitive color, 10420. On this piece of thicker linen. And I think I'm going to do that one maybe New Year's Eve. Because I don't know what I'm going to Stitching, apparently. <laughs> Guys, that is finally it. You got a almost 40-minute video. It's been... Well, no, that's it for the stitching. Now, the life part. 
Um, you already got almost a 40 minute video and I haven't even touched on the, uh, the life update. So if you were only here for the cross stitch and you don't care about the life update, thank you for staying this long and I will see you soon. I hope to have more stitching in the new year. Like I said, I'll be soon doing a, um, a whip parade and then the flip through of the book that that Christmas tide piece is in. Those hopefully will both be done before the new year. I'm not promising anything. Um, but that's my plan. But good intentions, you know. And I will see you later and take care. Now, if you're sticking around for the life update, get ready. Because this, this is interesting. So, um... Like I said, I did my video and my plan was to come back the week after Thanksgiving. Um, we took that one day trip. We realized when my husband, my, first of all, my husband has now um, finished and self guided and trained and become CT certified, which I'm very proud of him. When we went for him to take his board test for that, he was already x ray certified, now he's CT certified. Um, when we went to take his test, we realized that we had not been anywhere in a year because of the pandemic. And my in-laws were going up to Pigeon Forge for a week to go camping. And they had invited us with them for like a night. And we decided the way we would go. Literally, we drove up there, spent the night in their camper. I went to the needlework store. And other than that, we sat outside by the fire with a family that we've already been around. So we still socially distanced. We were mostly outside. Had a great time on the way home that night um the on that tuesday i was not driving i was sitting with my feet on the dash um and it don't 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 do that if you do that don't do that um looking at my phone had just got on to my son in the back seat for not sitting properly looking down at my phone and all of a sudden the loudest boom just it was so loud and so stunned that it stunned me like I've always heard people say it happened so quickly that it stunned me everything happened the boom the seat belt locking and not only locking I told my husband at the time that it felt like it was pulling me against the seat I thought my tire had had exploded but then I couldn't figure out why if it was just my tire blowing while my seat belt was locking so hard we hit a deer. This thing came out of nowhere. We were traveling at highway speed because my husband had decided not to take a back road to avoid deer. And um, so we were traveling at highway speed, doing the speed limit. He never touched the brakes because he never saw the deer. Like this thing came up out of the median onto the road and he said as soon as he saw it, he hit it. Like as soon as he had time to even think, oh my gosh, deer. Like he wasn't even through the thing before we hit the deer. Which in some senses it's probably good because had he locked down the brakes or swerved, who knows what it, you know, anything could have happened. Instead we just hit the deer. Um, none of us were hurt. I was a little sore because I was not sitting properly in the restraint in the seat belt. And thankfully, thank God, the airbags did not deploy. Um, the car repair guy said we hit it just in the right spot for not to deploy. Also, they said that a deer moves. It's not a sudden stop, so it kind of absorbs some of the, the hit. Um, so the airbags did not deploy. None of us even had a bruise. The car was smoking. Thought the car was on fire. It was not. It turns out, we did not know this, but the car that we had had um has a mechanism in the seat belt that explodes if the impact's great enough to where it pulls you into the seat and that's why it felt like it was pulling me into the seat because that's what this this seat belt it, it does more than just locking it actually holds you it's supposed it said it's to keep you from hitting the airbag i don't know um busted the radiator so the car was steaming it was crazy it was the knock on wood the worst wreck I had ever been in. Like, I've been in Fender Bitters, but as far as, like, the impact, it was the worst one I'd ever been in. Um, I looked up, I was like, why is my seatbelt tight if the tire blew? And he's like, we hit a deer. I was like, where? And Connor swore that it had antlers. It was not. It was a doe. She was a very large doe, but it was a doe. Um, 
I had to call the police. Um, the car was not drivable because the radiator had no coolant in it. Um, didn't know where I was because we had gone a different way. I mean, I knew where I was, but not exactly where I was. Had to go find a street sign. It was chaotic. Um, got the car towed. Got it to the repairman. Um, they first said that they got us in a rental. The insurance company had us in a rental the next day. Everybody was fine. Everybody was hurt. Um, they first said that they were going to repair the car. However, when they tore it down to start the repair, they didn't realize that there was stuff that had knocked into the engine and they were going, they wanted to replace those parts of the engine to be safe. But the insurance company said, nope, no dice, just total it out. And they totaled it out. Argued with the insurance company. Not argued. Let me rephrase. The insurance company has been, as a whole, has been great. There was one person named, I hate to say his name, because now, anyway, there was one person with a name who was completely rude to me one day that was refusing to talk to my bank, et cetera, et cetera, to tell them, whatever. Got him twice, called back a third time, got a, a second gentleman with the same name, which I then unloaded on, because I thought this was the third time I talked to him. This poor guy had no clue what was going on. And that was for my frustrations. I had new clothes, you know. At the end of the conversation, he said, well, you haven't talked to me. There's more than one that works here. And I was like, whatever. I found out later through, because my adjuster, my initial adjuster got quarantined for exposure to COVID. So I was being bounced around from adjuster to adjuster after that. And um, when I finally, whenever she was back towards the end of it, it took, we wrecked the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and just this Tuesday is when the claim was finally finalized and we were paid, the payout was made. Um, and she did tell me there are two people and both picked up and I apologized to the second one. I said, well, he got the right that the first one deserved and I apologized. Um, anyway, because I, I was kind of rude. Um, but, uh, that was a whole other, like, he, anyway. Um, so... We were lucky in that um, the amount they paid out paid off the loan, so we were good there. <sighs> Ended up finding a replacement car and um, got it, went and signed, paid, got, ended up an amazing deal, an amazing deal. The salesman and the, the finance manager, we knew the finance manager, got us in an amazing deal, got it home, realized there were some issues with the car. <laughs> Nothing major, things that just little things, but we had to send it back to the shop. So I'm in a loaner car now. It's good. It's all good. It's all fixable. No, again, nothing major, just inconveniences. Um, there, so also, um, we had our computer crash this month. Completely died. Thought we lost everything. My husband was amazing and able to, he was able to save the hard drive and he actually was able to completely fix it. Like he saved the hard, saved the files off the hard drive, formatted the computer, like completely redid it. Very impressed. Not that I don't think he can do that. I just didn't know he could do that kind of thing. Okay, he's a very smart guy, but still, I was just impressed. I would have known where to start. Um, what else? Oh, we did get to go, good news. We did get to go back to Atlanta for my son's follow-up. We did get another another kidney ultrasound, renal ultrasound. Whatever this thing is still there, but it's not any bigger and hasn't changed, except that now they know for sure that it's just fluid-filled. Um, there's no solid part or part that could be solid. So we no longer, unless he shows symptoms, we no longer have to follow up, and he is now not in danger of losing his kidney. So that's the good thing. Um, so, it, and then it works, work. It's, you all know that, you know how the numbers are. So it affects me directly. Been working the COVID unit some. And um, so been a little nervous there. <laughs> um, not at work, but I don't want to bring it to my family. So I've been isolating a little more. Um, but yeah, just just life it's no like I said nobody's hurt but it's like every time that I sat down to do a video something else would happen and then I'm like okay I'm, this week I'm gonna do the video well then something else would happen 
but we all are fine. We all are safe. It's almost comical. Like now that we're on this, not even on this side of it, like it is kind of comical. Like, I don't know. Somebody said the other day, oh, I'm so ready for 2021. For the record, I said that about 2020. I'm not saying it about it 2021 because I'm not going to curse myself. I was laughing. Um, Kitten Stitcher said that her, her word for 2020 had been zen and this year had been anything but zen. So I almost want to make my word of, the, of next year chaos, hoping that the opposite will happen and it won't be chaos. Um, so, you know, 2021's been interesting, or 2020's been interesting. I'm hoping 2021 will be fun interesting, not chaotic interesting. Um, so that's really it on the life front. It wasn't anything horrible. Um, completely first world problems. Um, because we have our, like I was talking to Angie, we have our health, we have our house, we have food. We're all well. That's all that I care about. So everything else is just fodder, right? Um, I will be doing a planning video, a planner next year. Um, I'm mentioning this because it's cracked me up and this is where the title of my video will come from, I think. Um, we were in virtual stitchers the other day talking about our planners and Vic had said, you know, last year she, or 2020, she had called it the mo her mo instead of the happy planner, hers was her own brand and it was the moderate jovial planner and she was talking about how she needed to come up with a new plan for name planner name for next year and she I don't remember what she said but Alma piped in and she said what about the ca cautiously optimistic planner and that's what I that's gonna be my thing I'm cautious cautiously optimistic about next year it's gonna be a good year I, I just want it to be I'm not gonna say I know it's gonna be I'm not gonna say it's gotta be but I'm hoping that next year will be cautious cautiously optimistic that it's going to be a great year right but anyway that's it for now guys thank you so much for sticking around at this really almost almost an hour long video you guys take care as always happy stitching